Amen. God bless you, saints. Amen. We thank God that His Word is anointed. And we pray that, Amen, our hearts may be open to receive His Word so that His Word may bless us, so that His Word may strengthen us and establish us in the faith. Amen. Amen. The Lord is good. Amen. Today we want to look at a scripture in some scriptures in Luke chapter 5. Reading from verse 1, and it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Gennesaret. Amen. When Jesus walked on earth in the days of his flesh, wherever he went, he drew crowds of people to him. Amen. Some would just want to touch the hem of his garment. Amen. And they will be healed. Amen. And when he spoke, amen, he spoke with authority, with divine anointing, that it even troubled the scribes and Pharisees. And they asked him, on whose authority are you doing these things? And he asked them, the baptism of John, was it of heaven or was it of man? And they could not answer. And he said, neither will I tell you. Amen. And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Gennesaret. Amen. When, he, when Jesus spoke, he spoke life. Amen. Friend, that word pierced into the hearts of people. Amen. For the living word spoke the word of God. For he, the word of God. Amen. The Bible says, is God. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Amen. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Amen. John 1 verse 1. Amen. And here in, in Luke chapter 5 we read, verse 2, And saw two ships standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them, and were washing the nets. So here was Yeshua. Crowds around him. Amen. And people pushing to get closer to hear the words just to be in his presence amen and to preach the word amen to continue with the church service without having any disturbance the bible says yeshua saw two ships standing by the lake but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets the fishermen were busy they were washing their nets amen the boats were there, the boats were available, the boats were empty. And Yeshua entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out the little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. So Yeshua, he stepped into Simon's boat and asked Simon to launch a little from the land, just to have some space between him and the crowd in him. And you find also another reason is that uh, if, you, if you're in a boat and you're speaking, the, the, the waves of the water enhance the sound waves, amen, of those who are speaking. And so it acts as an amplifier. So his voice was amplified, amen, just from speaking from the boat, amen. Notice Peter made his boat available, amen. Friend, if we want God to use us, we must be available. We must be willing. Peter was willing to let Yeshua use his boat. Amen. 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 Verse 4. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a dog. You see, God always pays his debts. Amen. Peter had a business. Peter's business was fishing. That's how Peter earned his money. And Yeshua had used Peter's boat. So for a certain part of the day, Peter could not continue with his business. He had to stop what he was doing and come to the assistance of Yeshua and take Yeshua away from the crowds of the people. 
Peter had made himself available, amen. We must make ourselves available so that God can have his way with us, amen. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. Notice, after Jesus had finished talking to the people, church was over, crowd was dismissed. He told Peter, launch out into the deep and let down your nets, nets, plural, for a drought. A drought is a great catch of fish, amen. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net, singular. Notice, Peter was a fisherman. And people in that neighborhood, they knew Yeshua was the, was the son of Mary and that Joseph the carpenter was the foster father of Yeshua. Amen. And uh, Peter, the attitude to say in paraphrasing that he's a fisherman, he knows all about fish, and thinking that way without revelation, not knowing that he was standing in the presence of the Creator who was tabernacled in a robe of human flesh, a tabernacle, a tent pitched without hands, the creator of the universe was speaking to Peter. And uh, Peter, well, being caught up in business, amen, being caught up in the moment of the events, thinking about his fish, says, Lord, paraphrasing, we, we toiled all night, you know, we fished all night. There's nothing here, there's no fish, man. And just to prove a point, I'll let down one net to show that there's no fish. Yes, sure, well, God will let us do what we want to do, amen. He speaks his word, it's up to us to receive it or reject it. But friend, it's always better to receive his word. It's always better to accept his word. Amen. Peter said, nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. But friend, Yeshua said, let down the nets. Amen. But Peter let down one net. So it was partial obedience. And so many times we get caught up in not fully obeying God. Amen. Like you find when God gave a promise to Abram. Abram listened to the voice of Sarah and went into Hagar. Ishmael was born. And so many times we... Don't fully obey God and we come to God with our Ishmaels and God rejects our Ishmaels. Amen. Abram said, Oh Lord, let Ishmael live before thee. God says, No, Sarah is going to have a son. Amen. Isaac, the promised son, Amen, was a seed of promise. Amen. And in the fullness of time, Isaac was born. Amen. You see, our Ishmaels can never be our Isaacs. The, the natural things that we do in our own strength can never compare to the spiritual things that God grants us with his divine power and divine anointing. That's why Yeshua said, what's born of flesh is flesh. What's born of the spirit is spirit. Amen. Friend, the supernatural has dominion over the natural. Amen. We need God. Amen. It's not by power. It's not by might. It's by my spirit, saith the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. Amen. So Peter let down the net. Good fisherman Peter. Probably thinking, ah, well, uh, the carpenter here, yeah, what does he know about fish? I'll just let down the net and we'll see, we'll see what's what. There's no fish here. We toiled all night, we found nothing. Just thinking, I'm 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 just presuming to himself, alright? And then we see uh and when they this done they enclosed uh Great multitude of fishes and the net break. Friend, Yeshua had said to Peter, let down the nets. Plural. But Peter said, at thy, nevertheless, at thy word, I'll let down the net. He said, Peter said, Master, we have toiled all night. We're tired. We've been here. We fished. There's no fish. We checked. There's no fish. That's why they were washing the nets. 
There's no fish. We just finished washing our nets. Want to go home now? Yeshua says, no. Let down the nets. Amen. For a drought, amen. A great catch of fish. Yeshua spoke the word, amen. And as that creative word went out, amen, all the fish began to gather around the boat. Plenty of fish, amen. And as soon as the net went down, the fish were in the net. And then when Peter and them tried to pull it out, what happened? The Bible says, And when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net break. Amen. Now if he had let down nets, it would have been okay. And they beckoned unto their partners. Friend, it was revival time. Hey, calling all the friends. Hey, come, come, this fish, this fish. And what happened? Which were in the other ships that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both the ships so that they began to sink. Friend, we need to know when to stop. They almost sank and lost the whole boat because of fish. Thinking of how much money they're going to make. The love of money is the root of all evil. Amen. The love of money. Money is not evil. It's the love of money that's the root of all evil. And they came and filled both ships so that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Yeshua's knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. Amen. Friend, Peter had witnessed something supernatural. With his natural understanding, he knew that they had toiled all night and there was no fish in the sea. But straight after Yeshua spoke his word, launch out into the deep to catch a great trout of fish. Amen. Let down your nets. Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a drought. A great catch of fish. As soon as Yeshua spoke those words, and, and as soon as uh, Peter said, Master, we've toiled all night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. As soon as the net was let down, and when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and the net break. That was supernatural, amen. Yeshua spoke and things happened. He spoke and fish were there to get into the nets. Amen. Into the nets, but Peter let down a net. Amen. Amen. Friend, you need to hear and recognize the word of God. Amen. We must receive the word of God as the word of God. Amen. And we must honor the word of God as the word of God. Faith honors God and God honors faith. Amen. We must mix the word of God with faith in our hearts. Amen. God keeps his promise. Our God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think. We have not because we ask not. And we have not because we ask a mercy. Amen. 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 Yeshua said, Amen. If, if you doubt not and you believe... And if you say to this mountain, be thou removed and cast in the sea, and you doubt not, but believe that the words that you speak, that the things will happen, it will be as you believe. Amen. Amen. Let's read that scripture. Amen. In Mark 11. Amen. Mark 11, verse 22. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast in the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe. That those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you shall have them. And when you stand praying, forgive, if you have ought against any, that your Father, that your Father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. For if you do not forgive, neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive your trespasses. Amen. At thy word. Amen. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. Was Peter obeying God? Partial obedience. God had said, let down the nets. Yeshua said, let down the nets. Peter said, at thy word, I will let down the net. He forgot plural nets. So he was only partially obeying. 
it was a half-hearted gesture. And Yeshua said, Amen. Uh, speaking about the scribes and Pharisees, he says, These people honor me with their, with their mouths, with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Friend, I will worship. The Bible says, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. We must worship God in the beauty of holiness. Amen. But look what's happening in the churches today. They got man-made creeds, man-made doctrines, man-made traditions. Friend, they put aside the word of God and they exalt their creeds and their doctrines uh, above the word of God and make it of none effect in their congregation. But in reality, the word of God is higher than man-made creeds. In reality, the word of God is higher than man-made traditions. In reality, the word of God is higher than man-made traditions. Amen. God has exalted his word above his name. Amen. Friend, man-made creeds, man-made doctrines, man-made traditions. Friend, they're a pile of dung. Amen. They're nothing but rubbish. Amen. They don't line up with the word of God. They are rubbish. They are nonsense. Amen. Friend, man-made creeds that are contrary to the word of God are totally rubbish. They are dung. Amen. Amen. No wonder Paul says he counts everything as dung, amen, that he might obtain the excellency of Christ, amen. Friend, if a tradition, if a creed, if if a if if a, a, a doctrine doesn't exalt Christ, throw it away, amen. If it doesn't honor the word of God, throw it away, put it aside, throw it in the burn, amen. Amen. Nevertheless, at thy word I will let down the nets. Amen. And it says here, when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord, for he was astonished, and all they that were with him at the doubt of fishes which they had taken. And so was also James and John, the sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon, Fear not, from henceforth thou shalt catch men. And when they had brought their ships to land, they forsook all and followed him. Friend, the supernatural element, amen. That's what we need, amen. Friend, when divine mercy and grace of God comes into a church service, lives are changed. The brokenhearted are healed. The sick are healed. The lame walk. The dumb talk. The deaf hear, amen. Broken marriages are, 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 are healed, amen. Restored, amen. A bruised reed, a smoking bruised reed, you will not break. A smoking flax, you will not quench. Amen. God is in the restoring business. Amen. God is our helper. He's a present help in a time of need. Amen. Amen. We need God now more than ever. God bless you. Receive the word of God. Believe the word of God. Act upon the word of God. Obey the word of God. Amen. Be blessed by the word of God. God bless you, saints. Amen. Stay blessed. Amen.